This is problem 3.33, and we're told we have a husband and wife that have these different probabilities of kids with certain colors of eyes. You'll see as you look, skim down, that we're mostly interested in green eyes. So it's 0.75 probability of brown eyes, 0.125 blue eyes, 0.125 green eyes. But it looks like we're only interested in the green eyes. So we have probability of green equals 0.125. What's the probability that the first child will have green eyes and the second will not? So the probability of green and then not green. Well, the probability of the first green one would be 0.125. And then you want someone that's not green. You don't actually care what color it is, just not green. So that would be 1 minus 0.125. Or this would be 0.125 times 0.875 which gives me 0.1. So 0.1 probability that the first child has green eyes and the second one does not. For B, what's the probability that exactly one other two children will have green eyes? So the probability of exactly one means you can have green and not green, or you could have not green for the first child and green for the second child. So you have to list out all the combinations to get exactly one with, two green, one with green eyes. So green and not green is 0.125 times this 0.875 for not green. And then we'll do a plus for the or, and then we want not green, which was 0.875 times the probability of green, which is 0.125. And this gives me... Now, you might notice on here that I just did that with basic probability rules. But you might be like, oh, we're in the binomial distribution section. I probably could use the binomial distribution on this. So... We have two children. We have a set probability of green eyes. Each children should be independent. This sounds like a binomial distribution. So this is binomial. We're only looking at two children, and the probability of having green eyes is 0.125. So if we want the probability of 1 with green eyes, we're looking for the probability that x equals 1. You can put this straight into your calculator, or you can do it by hand. So we'd have n choose k times p to the k times 1 minus p to the n minus k. So in our case, this will be 2 choose 1 times the probability of 0.125 to the power of 1 times our 1 minus 0.125 to the power of 2 minus 1. Okay, and this again is going to give me 0.21875. So either way, if you do basic probability rules or binomial distribution, you get to the same answer. So part B is easy to do by hand with basic probability rules, but part C is not. Because it says if they have six children, what's the probability that exactly two will have green eyes? When I have two children, I can do a tree diagram myself pretty easily. I can list out the sample space pretty easily. So for two kids, you either have green and green, or green and not green, or not green and green, or not green and not green. So there's only four possibilities for two kids. And that's pretty easy to just kind of do by hand and in your head. But for six kids, that's a lot of possibilities. I'm not drawing a tree diagram. I'm not doing all the possible ways to get two kids with green eyes out of six. So I have to use the binomial distribution, unless you want to spend hours doing this problem. So this will now be a binomial with n equals, now we're having six kids, and we want to have two with green eyes. So our probability is still 0.125, but n changed. So now we look for the probability that x equals two. Again, put it in your calculator, or you can do it by hand. So we'll have six, choose two, 0.125 to the power of two, and one minus 0.125 to the power of six minus four, which gives me 0.137. And for D, if they have six ch children, what's the probability that at least one will have green eyes? There are two ways I can do this, but either way we have to use the complement rule. Because if you want at least one child with green eyes, you have to go through all the possible ways to get at least one child with one eyes. It's so like the first one could have green eyes, or the second one, or the third one, or the first and third, or the first and fourth. There's just so many possibilities. So use the complement rule. The probability of at least one having green eyes 
is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability that x equals 0, or none have green eyes. Okay. Now, I could do this using basic probability rules, or again, I can use the binomial distribution. So I'll use the binomial, since that's what we're thinking about. So the binomial, again, we're going to have six children, p equals 0.125, and let's look for the probability that x equals 0. So the probability that x equals 0 here is 0.449. So the probability now that x is at least 1 will be 1 minus 0.449, which gives me 0.551. So if they have six kids, there's a 55% chance that they'll have at least one kid with green eyes. Okay. 